So what's all the hype with podcasts? It is one question we'll tackle together. Radio has been around since the 1930s, but why did it take so long for audio to become digitized and popular? Well, there are a lot of factors involved, but we'll take a quick look at some of the most relevant ones. First, for a consumer, radio is cheap, exciting, and engaging content. Also, according to the Digital Public Library of America, since the 1930s, global literacy rates have grown, as did access to technology. This allowed more people to enjoy other types of content and move away from radio. Around the Arab world, Africa, and many parts of Asia, not to mention North America and Europe, radio is still incredibly important. Important to the degree that it is highly regulated around the world, with government permission required to import radio transmitters and the equipment required to broadcast. One of the reasons radio is still so important is that illiteracy rates are still high in many countries worldwide. Radio has an important role to fill in reaching millions of people who would otherwise be left out of the discussion. Consider audio content in general, even outside of what you hear on radio. First, mobile technology has become affordable for more people. Many people use their mobiles instead of computers to access content and information. Print media outlets are investing in creative content production, such as hosting bespoke videos and original audio on their websites. While Facebook and other social media usage is still growing dramatically, messaging apps such as WhatsApp, Telegram, Snapchat, and others have exploded onto the screens. This trend works well for audio, as it can be shared directly from peer to peer. This kind of digital environment has created an opportunity for media professionals to reinvent audio content. Let's look at one example which made an impact on the podcasting scene, National Public Radio, or NPR in the United States. In 2014, NPR released the Serial podcast. It became a huge success. In just over two months, 40 million people had downloaded the podcast. This made traditional media outlets take note of both the story and the podcast format. The show was reported on extensively and became a pop media subject. At the same time, Alex Blumberg from Planet Money spun off from NPR and started what would be later called Gimlet Media. As Serial was burning hot, Alex started a podcast about starting a podcast business called Startup. Startup became a sensation as well and helped Alex raise money and attention for his company and the podcast he was launching. After Serial went viral, media companies began investing into podcasts and media in general began to take note of the audio trend. Well-known host Ira Glass and the show he hosts, This American Life, also became independent from NPR and are the ones who produced the hit Serial and S-Town independently.